Hey there, it's Emily. I wanted to take a quick second and share with you guys a million dollar tip that has really, really, really changed my business and my recruiting conversations and my booking conversations and any conversations that I have to have with a customer or a potential customer or someone that I'm trying to get to know and build a relationship with. And it's actually a really, really simple concept that um, I wish I would have discovered a long, long time ago because now that I've implemented it and taught myself and trained myself and practiced, I am realizing that this was a total game changer for me and it's literally shaping everything that I'm doing with my Sensi business right now. And here it is. Are you guys ready for this? This is the simple tip. And um, some of you, I've probably said this to you before, but um, the tip is no matter what kind of conversation with you're having with someone, never leave it without an open end. So always end with a question. That is my million dollar tip. Always end with a question. So what that does is, well, think about it. It keeps the conversation going, right? If I ask you a question, you're going to answer me. And then it opens the door to ask you another question. And it kind of creates a back and forth and a back and forth equates to a relationship. So what does that mean in terms of your sensi business? So what if you said, hey, Tracy, I am looking for hostesses who want to earn free and half price items. For the month of blank, I'm going to offer X as a hostess gift for you if you book a sensi party with me. Let me know if you're interested. So Tracy opens that and she reads it and eh, she can either let them know if she's interested or she can X out and never open it again or she can forget all about it. Now, same person, same two people having a conversation over either text or message or Facebook or whatever and I say, hey Tracy, um, I'm looking for Sensi hostesses who want to earn free and half price product and for the month of blank I am giving away blank as an extra hostess gift as an extra incentive for you to have a party with me and have lots of fun with your friends does that sound like something you might be interested in now if you're Tracy don't you feel obligated to answer my question and let me know either yes I would be interested or yes but not right now or no thank you but thanks for thinking of me and then you say oh no problem I always think of you when I think of Sensi because I know how much you love it and I just always you know I just wanted to offer it to you hey how are the kids doing hey great the kids are doing great thanks for asking so you build conversations. Never leave them without asking a question. I mean, eventually the conversation has to come to an end and you kind of have to stop asking questions. But it's a great way to build relationships with people and to have valuable conversations that lead to further conversations. Or they might say, hey, um, it does sound like something I'm interested in, but I can't right now because the kids are in sports and they're getting back into school. And you say, okay, great. Um, would you mind if I followed up with you in a couple of months? And then they're gonna say, yeah, sure. Check in with me in November. Things should slow down by then. So then come November, you say, hey, I remember you wanted me to follow up with you in November. Um, you know, is this a good time for you to have a good, for you to have your party? Again, with a question. You're always ending with a question. And if you train yourself, if you really truly train yourself to always end with a question, you are going to have so many more quality conversations in your business. I promise you. I have implemented this and I am having so many more quality conversations. I'm getting so many more parties. I'm having a ton of quality recruiting conversations and I'm not leaving them with, let me know if you're interested. Because all that does is it puts the ball in their court to let you know if they're interested and it makes it very easy for them to ignore you. Now, I said follow up in November when I gave that example. So another million dollar tip is to use Siri or the voice activator on your phone to set reminders. So I have been setting reminders like crazy because I'm having so many quality conversations that I need to follow up with. So as soon as I'm done having the conversation, I say, hey, Siri, 
I'm hoping she doesn't turn on right now. Hey Siri, remind me to follow up with Tracy in November about having a home party, okay? And then in November, my phone's going to alert me. Now, same thing goes for recruiting conversations. Hey, um, when somebody tells me that they're interested in the business opportunity or they're interested in learning more about something that I might have posted on Facebook, the first thing I say and the only thing I say is, have you used Sensi before? That's the only thing I say. I say, hi, Tracy, have you used Sensi before? I start very slow, and if they say, yes, I have, I say, oh, that's great. We're looking for consultants in your area. Um, we're a lot like direct sales companies. You might have heard of like Avon or Tupperware or Pampered Chef. Um, I'm having a great time earning extra income and uh, traveling the world. Does that sound like something you might be interested in? I don't want to overwhelm you, but if it sounds like something you'd be interested in, I will send you more information. And actually, what I usually do is I'll say, um, I'd love to send you more information, but I don't want to overwhelm you. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? So I kind of plant a seed about, um, you know, what it's doing for me, but I don't go on and on about myself. I just say, oh, great. We're looking for consultants in your area. I'm having a great time earning extra income and traveling the world. Um, I'd love to send you what comes in the kit and how you get enrolled and more about the business, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So does that sound like something you'd be interested in? And then they almost always say, yes, it does sound like something I'd be interested in. And I'd say, okay, great. Have you ever done direct sales before? Oh, okay, and then I say, okay, here's the kit. Do you have any questions about the kit? Or here's my website. Um, do, you know, did you get a chance to look at the website? So there's different ways that you can keep the conversation rolling, keep the conversation going back and forth, but you're still building a relationship and getting where, and, and kind of driving them and leading them where you're trying to go without dumping a bunch of information on them and then just hoping that they let you know if they're interested, okay? Does that make sense? So um, t tailor it to you, tailor it to your business, tailor it to your conversations, but keep this in the back of your mind that you always wanna end them with a question. If somebody says to you like, oh, I don't have time, say, oh, what do you do that keeps you so busy? Tell me more about yourself. So. There's so many ways that you can engage with people and build quality relationships. And I find that asking great questions about them is a million dollar tip. Good luck.